Sometimes it's convenient to present several plots as panels in a single plot. For example, when you're going to submit a manuscript to a journal that has restrictions on the number of figures you may include. Such a design with panels can be achieved by using the par parameter MF row. This allows you to define a panel layout with a specified number of rows and columns. For example, if you want to achieve this design with six panels arranged in two rows and three columns, then you can write par mf row equals and then a vector containing the numbers two and three, meaning that you want two rows and three columns. After defining the layout, you can start plotting. And here we use a loop to produce six histograms with the 25 normally distributed values in each histogram. And the first histogram is drawn here, the second here, the third here, and so forth, until you have six histograms presented. And as you can see, R fills them one row at a time, which is uh, somewhat odd because it usually fills them this way, but not when you're using panels. If you would draw a seventh histogram, then everything would be erased here and the seventh would end up here. As you can see, the histograms are rather narrow because regardless of the number of rows and columns you define, they always end up in the same square window, 7 by 7 inches, unless you de define otherwise, and I'll show you how that's done later. There are situations where the simple layout where each panel is of equal size is not sufficient. You may, for example, want to define a layout um, like this with three small panels and then one large panel with uh, which is twice as high and three times as wide as the small ones. And in this situation the MF row is not uh, applicable but you would have to use the layout command which is more complicated but also more versatile. Here we use the layout command to define a layout based on this matrix. A matrix with two rows, and the first row contains the numbers 1, 2, 3, and the second contains the numbers 4, 4, 4. And that's the result of this matrix command. And then we add an information that heights are 1 and 2, meaning that the first row should be of height 1, and the second row here will be of height 2, that is twice as high as the first row. And the result looks like this with the 1, 2, 3 from the first row in the matrix and then 4, 4, 4 here. That is, all three columns here are combined into one single panel called 4 and it's twice as high as the first row because we've defined heights as one for the first row and two for the second row. After executing the layout command you could start plotting things and the first plot would end up here, second here, third here and the four would be a big one here. But it may be a good idea to look at the design first to make sure that you have um, gotten the matrix right. And that can be done using the layout show command, a sort of add-on command, which shows a small picture of the layout you have designed using the layout command. It's not necessary, but it's informative. And an interesting thing about the layout show command is that you have to provide the number of panels here. If you write, for example, layout show one, you will get only this little square. But since you have four panels in the layout, you would have to write layout show four to get the entire layout presented.